everyone and welcome back to Carmona Homeschool of Three. This is not really a planned video. I did not plan on making this video, but I thought, you know what, why not? So I wanted to share the little mini unit study that I created for my girls for um, July 4th or Independence Day. So I have this for sale in my Etsy shop and I thought it would just be fun to share it with you in case you need a little summer unit to keep your kiddos busy but it's fun and it's not like a super serious unit like there's no books no textbooks to go along with it I mean you could if you wanted to bulk it up but it's fun worksheets fun hands-on activities things like that so I'm going to show you what it is and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new Okay, so this is a printable unit study. You can just um, buy it and download it in my Etsy store and then print it off and have your kids um, have a little bit of a fun summer unit to do. So um, this is just like a, like I said, a fun little hands-on unit. So some of the things I can't show you for two reasons. Um, one, I either didn't print the papers off um, because I didn't need them or two, because there's things like puzzle pieces that I can't I have already been cut and I can't like hold up every single little puzzle piece so all right so I made this unit with both of my kids in mind and a lot of moms I know want to teach their kids um, from different ages but with the same topics so this is a unit study that you can do that for I would say you could use it all the way up from um, toddler to about third or fourth grade just depending on your child's grade level so I have a three-year-old, she just turned three in March, um, but I would say even at her two-year-old age, she would be able to do some of these things. Now there is a teacher's guide to sh that shows you what pages would go for what um, grade ranges, and I say that with quotations because I just feel like you know your child grade levels don't really mean much in homeschool I feel like and you know your child so you know if they're beyond this little unit study or you know if this would be the perfect fit for them or if they're just not there yet so um, like I said there are some activities from toddler all the way up to third or fourth grade um, and again some of them I can't show you because some of them are like laminated puzzles so there are three three pages that you could um, that are intended to be laminated but you don't necessarily have to laminate them for you to be able to use this unit so they're just like little puzzle pieces so this is an American flag puzzle piece I'll do a little layover so that um, I can show you what that looks like all put together all right so here's the whole layout of the unit study I did forget to mention that in the teacher's guide I also included a um, little list where you can um, find YouTube videos that you can watch relating to the Independence Day unit study and books you can order on Amazon if you order this in time if you have Prime you definitely have time to order some um, so there's all that um, in the unit study that's not printed out here so these are all the worksheets here's the little um, puzzles that I included here that you didn't see earlier sorry the tables a little messed up so this is kind of like um, <laughs> kind of sticking out there but this is the level one puzzle because it's bigger pieces and a simpler design this is the level two puzzle which is smaller pieces and um, a little more difficult because of these lines for the flag and then the cute little clip card sorry it's so bright I'm right in front of the window um, so then the cute little clip cards for the toddlers um, preschoolers um, so yeah just a fun little unit study but there is one puzzle I call them level one and level two because that's like the level two is a little more difficult um, this is the level one puzzle a little bit bigger pieces and an easier design it's like a patriotic like Uncle Sam's kind of hat um, so there's that two little puzzles and then I love these things these are perfect for toddlers little hands these are like the clip cards so you have a picture and then you take something like a clothespin if you're gonna laminate it and you would mar your child would clip the number um, that goes with how many's in the picture so there are six of those little clip cards so here's another one and you would just clip that if you don't um, have a laminator if you don't plan on laminating them um, you could just have your child like even you you even don't even you don't even have to cut them up you could just leave the worksheet whole and have your child place like um, a pom-pom ball or some kind of little manipulative right on top of the number 
um, that would correspond with the pictures. Um, so there's the little hands-on activities. Um, again, I don't have everything printed out. Like I don't have the teacher's guide printed out. Um, but here's the worksheets. So, oops, almost dropped them here. Um, you guys have got my kids playing out in the living room. So if you hear their, them, they're just they're just playing. Um, so I have. I know that a lot of us aren't going to the library and things right now. And like I said, I didn't want this to be like a big serious unit. Um, but it's just a little bit of a, a fun thing to keep you know, the kiddos learning, but also in a fun way. So I have some fun facts pages. This is just a general fun facts of like July 4th, Independence Day. Um, I don't know why I just did air quotes. Um, some fun facts about the Liberty Bell because there are some Liberty Bell um, worksheets in here. And then I also have a fun facts about, about bald eagles because there is a little bald eagle activity in here. So you could just read these over with your kids or if they're older, they could read these. Um, so let me just go ahead and show you some of the worksheets that are in here. So the first one I have, I have in two different um, forms. This is the like little um, writing prompt page. And there's also a second one here. I just have different lines for different grade levels so this is like the chunkier line sorry it's a little bright you guys i hope you can see that and then this is just some regular lines um lined paper for um the older ones um so there's a little journal prompt there then i have a matching picture activity so for youngers it's match the pictures and then for the olders i have match the word to the pictures i've also got a spelling word scramble so um this would be for an older child, probably like about first grade up to third or fourth, just depending on your child's learning level. So a little bit of spelling, there's a little bit of reading, a little bit of math, a little bit of coloring, just fun stuff. But um, there's also everybody can color their own flag here. A little coloring page of course and then a little picture there to show what the flag looks like in case your child doesn't know so there's color the liberty bell there's also a liberty bell word search there's parts of a bald eagle and then you would read the fun facts and um, have the child cut them out and paste them where the <clears throat> parts are on the bald eagle here's the little bit of math worksheet so for littles I've got a color by number picture here and then for the olders I've got color um, by math by number but it's addition and subtraction um, so like I said nothing it's not a huge unit but just something fun for your kiddos to do these are the fun facts here um, so that's basically it I will show you a little bit of an overview but I just wanted to share that in case you wanted to download that and have something fun and educational for your kiddos to do this holiday because I know a lot of us aren't going to be going out and doing a lot of things or seeing a lot of people because of just everything that's going on. So I hope this is helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'll make sure to leave my Etsy store link down below in case you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.